Okay, I'm going to talk about the Nissan car ad featuring Brie Larson. Okay, I watched the ad and really I didn't think it was that obviously male bashing. Okay, the ad basically had this young woman being told by her work supervisor saying, look, you know, this is why I'm not going to promote you this quarter. And she makes a sad face. And then Brie Larson pulls up, drop the taco, get in the car. And she gets in the car, Brie Larson brings her out for a ride, shows how, how well the car handles the safety features of the car, you know, and basically praises the car saying, this car does not compromise, so why should you? Brie Larson then drops her back at the same place. She gets out of the car looking all purposeful and determined. End of ad. Is it really that male bashing? I really don't think so. It's just about, you know, sometimes you really have to stand up for yourself and not compromise and, 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 and you know, get what you, you, you should get, you know, assuming that the woman is, you know, should get a promotion and is being denied one. Not because she's a woman, it's because supervisors and, and, and corporations just sometimes want to keep, they want to make you work as much as possible as lower pay. It, it doesn't apply just for women or only, you know, men will get, uh, will get denied promotions and as well unless you fight for it. So, is to me, it wasn't a male bashing. I really didn't think it was. To me, this is a very clear-cut case of if you are already disliked, whatever you do will be taken in the worst light possible. I believe if the exact same ad, right, right, with the exact same ad, but instead of Brie Larson, who is disliked by a large population of male guys, especially Caucasian guys, well, guys, sorry, especially Caucasian guys, let's say Gal Gadot, Scarlett Johansson, you know, Bryce Dallas Howard, someone played, the, you know, replaced Brie Larson. I don't think it would have been an issue. Seriously, I really don't think it would have been an issue. The Gillette ad was really awful, I must agree. But this ad, seriously, wasn't that bad. So, <laughs> Brie Larson basically pissed off a lot of people by saying that, you know, this movie wasn't made for you, white guys. You know, I do not want, I don't care what a 40-year-old white dude thinks about this movie. It wasn't made for him. And he says that the people who... Uh, made I think uh, gave this movie a bad review are mostly white guys which is really silly just because someone is white and the movie is not made for 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 that person like for example I really do not like rom-coms okay I only think I really write one or two rom-com but I can objectively look at a movie even though the genre that the jo the genre of the movie is not what I usually go for and objectively say no the pacing is good the acting is good the special effects are good wah, 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 wah. You know, there are, you know, there is something, there is some, there's, there's not just people going what they feel. You have to, you know, analyze and justify what you say about a review, right? And, and from what I heard, The Wrinkle in Time was just a bad movie. It was just a badly produced movie. The idea was too obscure. The acting wasn't good. The pacing wasn't good. Okay. So she put her foot in her mouth. She offended a lot of guys, especially Caucasian guys. And now she's basically whatever she do, she can't get do anything right. And frankly speaking, you know this bottom line cost this will cost her money because, you know, why get a unlikable actress, you know, to do your advertisement when you get a, when you get a popular one? I'm I'm actually surprised Nissan will choose Brie Larson. Why not you Scarlett Johansson? Why not? Gail Godot, why not someone else? So this goes to show, you know, watch what you say because as the Bible says, the power of life and death lies in your tongue. Hmm? There's a Chinese proverb that goes, Huo chong kou chu, disaster proceeds from the mouth. And another one, another one that says, Bing chong kou ru, illnesses enter through your mouth. So, Please be careful what you say, be careful what you eat. Okay, bye-bye.